In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the icon picker at SharePointDashboards.com. There are two versions of the icon picker. One uses emoji icons, and then the other one uses Microsoft Fabric icons. They both work in a similar way. When you go to the template, the first thing you should do is check out the different icon options. If you change the theme selector, you will see that there's different sets of icons. You can browse through those selections and then you can further customize the icon options by simply putting your cursor into the icons text box and you can delete options that you don't want to use. This will automatically update the display and you can set it to show just the icons that you want and also change the order if needed. Other things you can customize include the size of the icon displayed in the list. Um, you could make that large or smaller if you prefer. And then the size of the icon in the picker can be adjusted too. Maybe you want that to be a little bit easier to see. For this demonstration, we're just going to use the uh, default option. So I'm going to go ahead and reset that. You do need to enter the name of the SharePoint field that you're using. This requires a simple text field. Once you have everything set up how you want, you can copy the code and then go over to your text field. And we're going to start by looking at this emoji icon option. So this is just a simple text field. I'm going to format the column, advanced mode, and paste, and save. By default, it's going to show an empty circle. Um, that's the placeholder um, until there's another value there. So um, what you do is you just click on it and then you can see the icon options. Again, just as a reminder, you are in complete control of which options appear in this based on the configuration. Um, so you can just click on the setting and as you can tell, that will just update to whichever icon the user selects. Um, so that's an example of how to use the emoji version of the icon selector. Now we have another icon selector which uses the Microsoft Fabric icons, which I'll now demonstrate. Okay, so after the preview is complete, you can take a look at this. And just as the case of the last template, I can click on the icons. Now in this case, the icons are set to use one color. By default, that's black, but you can change it with this picker by using the color swatch options at the top. And you can see that um, helps me um, see in the preview what the color is gonna be. So it's a combination of settings that are used. Just as in the case of the emoji icon picker, there are many theme options, and you should browse through that by using the theme selector um, to see what's there. In this case, you're not going to see the icons in the icons text field. With fabric icons, it uses a text value which designates the icon. For fabric icons, you can go to this site, which is linked from the notes section in the icon picker below. To get those icons, all I need to do is right click and select copy friendly name. And that value goes back into this text box, which is comma delimited. Just as is the case with the other picker, I can simply add or remove options as I want. I'll uh, remove one just to demonstrate. Okay, so that icon comes off the list. The color options are always going to be at the top of the selection so that you can adjust those colors. In this case, the default icon as a placeholder is simply a dash. Just like the other picker, you can change the overall size of the icon, um, both the um, 
icon that shows in the list view and also the picker icons. As I did in the last example, I'm just going to use the default options for theme one. I do need to put in the name of the SharePoint field. Once again, this is simply a text field. I called my field fabric icon, so I need to enter that into the box. And now I'm ready to copy my code. Column settings, format this column, advanced mode, select all and paste, then save. There's my placeholder because no value has yet been set. And I click on that and there are my icon options. So I'll go ahead and pick a heart. And now when I want to change the color, I just go back to the selector and you can see that changed to red. And of course that color can change on a row by row basis. As was the case with the fabric icons, you can find your own emoji icons. These are a little bit easier to work with because you can simply copy the icon and then paste it back over to SharePoint. I hope you find that useful. As you can tell, there are many, many icon options that are available. Of course, everyone has their own preferences in terms of which options they find useful and which are not so useful. So be sure to adjust those selections by adding and removing options in the icons field. And you can do this in both versions of the icon picker. I hope you enjoy and I hope that makes your list look great.